Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotzosti, and here we are back again on another day in Minecraft, overlooking the area under the Universal 2x2 tree farm. This time, however, we are standing on a piece of road that went in in the last episode, and now I have the material to transform the area below. First, let's fill in the hole underneath the farm so we have a proper floor. And then I can start building up the terrain so that there is some solid ground on which the building can be placed. I feel that I have come quite a way in this series when it comes to terraforming. There are three ingredients. The first is the form or shape that need to be defined first. Here it is a good idea to, to use cheap building blocks for the outline that will then be covered up later on. Similar like you build a building with brick or concrete and then have layers of plaster and paint on top. Before you can start to paint on that canvas, you have to figure out the color, or in this case, the block palette. The inside of this cave will be dominated by dripstone, complemented with normal stone, andesite, and iron ore blocks. The outside will be dirt, respectively grass. The third element is shape, which is missing in this instance here. This is usually achieved by stairs, slabs, walls, trapdoors and other non-full blocks that go along with the color palette. Shape is very important if there are large areas. The shape along with the color variation of the block palette help making it interesting and breaking up the uniformity so that it is interesting to look at. While building this up, I have been racking my brain how best to present to you the detailing of the interior, as it is pitch black inside. Then it hit me, that we forgot one important farm in the last episode, sea pickles. That should give off a nice illumination effect, so guess where I am off to. This one is a bit bulkier as it is my own design, but there are smaller ones as well. The sea pickle can be bone milled when growing on a coral block. The block is periodically moved so the pickles pop off. The dispenser is on a two hopper clock while the piston uses four, leaving enough time to plant and bone meal the pickle before it is harvested. It turns out dripstone can also be placed on other blocks than dripstone blocks. So postponing this episode by one week together in us was not strictly necessary. But I still think it adds a nice touch. I tried to subtly illuminate the interior with glow legion and sea pickles. To me it looks quite nice and moody, but maybe on YouTube it's a bit too dark. I hope you enjoyed this terraforming episode and join me next time for another day in Minecraft. As I cannot guarantee regular uploads of this series with all the other game content that is going on on my channel, if you don't want to miss the next steps, hit that subscribe button. Goodbye!